everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I'm back, I'm back from our cruise. <clears throat> it was absolutely fabulous. We had a blast. Um, of course, Alaska is just gorgeous. I mean, just beautiful. I grew up around mountains, but there aren't mountains where I grew up like that. Wow, it was just beautiful and amazing. And we had fun. The first um, excursion we did was a adventure hike. So there were six of us from the ship that went on an adventure hike and it was like no real trail, <clears throat> but it was in the, um, the rainforest in Alaska and the temperate rainforest. So it's a cool rainforest, obviously, but um, just really cool. We got to see so many neat like plants and mushrooms and um, I don't know. It was a, it was a tough hike uphill, but it was just awesome. So that was the first thing we did. And then, um, some friends of ours that went on the cruise also, and my husband and I did this. <laughs> this was totally crazy, you guys. <laughs> so it says I survived the zip line. It was fine until the cliff and it was at icy straight point. And, um, I'm not sure how to say that. Huna, Alaska. Um, it's the world's largest zip line at 5,330 feet, and it has a 1,350 foot vertical drop, um, going about 60 miles an hour. Uh, I probably went around 45, 50 miles an hour. Um, I was probably the lightest of the group, so I was all the way at the back. That's kind of how they figure that out. Um, the heavier you are, the faster you go. So like my husband and a uh, friend and stuff went right around probably 60 miles an hour. And then um, our friend's wife, she's not much bigger than I am, but she curled her legs all up and everything. And so she was kind of like a ball. So she went down a lot faster than I did as well. But um, it was just awesome. But it was a little freaky when I was out here like this person all by myself. <laughs> But it was really cool. I mean, the view was amazing, and um, yeah, it was just great. So I'm going to show you a little clip of us doing that right now. I'll be right back. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Did you survive? Yeah, it was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my eyes are watering so bad. So what did you guys think of my reaction? <laughs> It was just so fun. I was shocked that I liked it as much as I did because I thought I would just be petrified, but I, I really loved it. I would have done it again. So um, anyway, that was super fun. And um, we did a couple other sort of historical walking tours and um, yeah, so just great. And the staff on Norwegian Cruise Lines, I mean, amazing, fabulous staff, so kind, nice, helpful. Um, yeah, they were just great. So yeah, we just really had a good time, saw shows and everything. It was great. So um, I am going to do another sort of a, sort of like the five minute challenge that I was doing last week, but a few people were feeling like stressed or like 
rushed or whatever. And yes, I do talk faster when I'm doing them because I get anxious. So anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to do, instead of the five minutes, I'm going to do a 10 minute scrap attack. That's what I'm calling it. 10 minute scrap attack. So, um, if you want to do it with me, it's not really a challenge, but you know, kind of, cause we're, we're using up scraps and you know, whatever kind of background you want, you can just use a piece of paper. You can use an index card. You can use uh, a time card, a uh, I don't know, guess check, whatever you have, uh, just a square piece of paper. Um, yeah, or another scrap is fine. So don't worry about what the backing is. Like I have a tag here too that I might do. But the whole thing is that you're using scraps. Like these are just the rest of the junk that's been sitting on my desk since the last two um, five minute videos that I did. So this time I will time myself for 10 minutes. So it'll be a little longer. I'll probably still rush a little bit, but I really enjoyed those. Like I feel like it's just a good exercise because it forces you to just kind of put stuff down. So you can use scraps, but you can, or, or the main idea is to use scraps, but you can use other accessories and stuff too. So it's not like you can only use scraps. It's not like that. Use whatever you want to use. It's your stuff. Use it. Um, but it's just just something fun to do. I just thought it would be fun to do a 10 minute one instead of five. I thought maybe that might make people feel a little more relaxed. I don't know if I'll talk slower. I'm kind of jazzed because, you know, I really did have a good time on that cruise and I'm ready to get going here again. So anyway, how are you all doing? I hope you're fabulous. Oh, let me check my time. Okay. So yeah, I hope you're doing good. That was um, just a great trip. So thank you all of you who were following and <clears throat> chatting with me whenever I could. The biggest problem um, while we were away was there was not much internet or, you know, cellular service, which understandably, because there are areas where we're in the mountains and it just, uh, just isn't great. But anyways, we had a fabulous time and it was kind of nice to just take some time and just hang out with my husband. We um, played cards on the days that we were just on the ship. You know, when, you, when you're going from place to place and you don't get to get off that day and have an excursion or anything. We played cards and read and all that. So yeah, we had just a really good time and had fun with our friends. But you know, we didn't hang out with them constantly the whole time we all kind of did our own things and uh yeah it was just awesome we just had a blast so yeah probably my two favorite things were that hike and that zip line for sure i mean we <clears throat> did other historical like i said tours and things and that was that's of course very interesting but um the most fun definitely was the hike and the uh zip line so yeah, I thought I would be petrified, and I told my husband I didn't know if I would go once we got up there, just, you know, because it's kind of scary. But I just, like, zenned and told myself to just have fun, and it was. It was a lot of fun. So, anyhow, they strap you into that real tight, you know, you get, uh, like I was in there real snug, so I didn't feel like I was going to fall out or anything. I mean, of course you think, what if the little line snaps or whatever, but I guess, you know, you just kind of have to, I, it was kind of like I was telling my friends, um, we used to have rabbits and, uh, we would let them run around the yard and people would stop at the house a lot of times say, oh my gosh, do you know your rabbit's out? What if a dog gets it? You know, all that kind of thing. Well, I had a rabbit uh, during kind of that same time period. But anyway, we had him out in his cage and we, uh, went, I don't even know where to like a movie or whatever that day. And when we came back, he had broken his back in his cage. <laughs> I don't, he got scared obviously of something, you know, it was on our back patio. So it wasn't like he was out, you know, somewhere. I don't know what scared him, but something did. And, um, he broke his back in his cage. So that's sort of like what I was telling my friends <clears throat> when we were on our way up on a gondola, because you have to ride up a gondola up the mountain, you know, to go down the zip line. So um, I just mentioned, you know, 
it's like the rabbit in the cage thing. You could stay in your cage all the time, but something can also happen to you in your cage. I don't know, you know, just sort of metaphorically. But uh, yeah, so that's sort of the, the way I got myself to calm down enough to do it, but it was totally worth it and very fun. So glad that I did. And like I said, would definitely do it again because the view from up there, and like I said, I wasn't going as fast. Um, I, I didn't go 60 miles an hour, but um, I was clipping along pretty good, but I had more time to like take in the view and stuff, so it was nice. But yeah. My poor husband, he's the one that videotaped it. And uh, you can see when they all kind of passed me by because he just had me in his sights for a minute and then they all started to go by me. <clears throat> and he was so worried about dropping his phone that he's like, I don't even think I enjoyed that because <laughs> I was too worried about dropping my phone. And I'm like, yeah, that, I, I feel bad that, um, you know, he, he had to do that. But um, yeah, that's my fault because I want to show you guys. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I guess I took his mind off of falling or whatever anyway. He just was worried about dropping his phone. Which, yeah. That would have been a problem. <clears throat> so he took one for the team. He's a good guy. I'm gonna put that little piece on there too because it needs something else. I'm like trying to hold this little scrap. That's stuck to my fingers. <clears throat> yeah, so this is probably not going to look a whole lot different than some of the other ones that I did last week because I'm still trying to use up some of these scraps and they're all just random. Either digitals, music page. Um. <sighs> what is it? Sorry, I just realized. I'm not exactly sure when I started. <laughs> like I looked and everything, you guys. I'm such a ding dong. I mean, I kind of know, but I might be off, but I'm not going to worry a whole lot about it. Just a short, not as quick as before, but quickish. I'm not sure which way this goes. I think this way. I don't want to cover up the numbers. Then I thought it might be fun to kind of make this into a pocket, maybe, for that. Yeah, this is one of the Tim Holtz pictures. It was just sitting around on my desk. So, and it looks like I got some paint spatters on it. <laughs> so I'm going to just rough it up a little bit. So I hope you guys had a lovely time while I was away. And um, thank you for all your nice comments about my... Uh, pictures on the cruise and all of that. We really, really did have fun. Never been on a cruise before, so it was just great. The best way in the world to travel, in my opinion, just because you don't have to like drive and worry about driving instructor, you know, directions and <clears throat> just all of it. It's just always kind of a headache. You just um, figure out which excursions you want to go on and then, I mean, if you've done it before, you already know all this, but, um, and then they'll like bus you or drive you or like at the time we went on the hike, we took a boat out to where we were going to hike from and I'm going to cover up those numbers anyway, huh? Oh, well, I want that as a pocket. So I just glued the two sides there. <clears throat> But yeah, it was, it was awesome. I think I might put this, I'm going to lift that for just a minute. And like I said, our staff was, well, their staff, not our staff, but the people that were helping us on the ship were just fabulous. So I'm going to kind of just do a little bit on the edges because it might sort of help as part of the tuck. 
Probably not since I glued that side. Maybe we'll make another tiny tag or something to go in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this into a tag. That's a piece from when I did that uh, little fairy journal, the wee flower fairy journal. Do one like let's do it at two. Uh, no, it's too fat. Okay. I did that totally crooked. Man, oh man. I'm gonna do a longer one. And go two. Okay, I'm going to see if those will fit nice little tuck spots. That's going to be way too big. So this one definitely probably will. And then we just need like an itty bitty one. I was way off on my <laughs> inexact measuring, right? So yeah, it was it was great. All right, we're gonna take our little doodad here and do some little notches, maybe ink around it. I don't think I'll put anything on these right now. If I figure out what like journal they're gonna go in or something, then I'll worry about that. Oh, that's still too big. I thought for sure that would, oh, it fits. It does, it does. And then this one, I think I'm gonna have to use those tiny ones again. Okay, what are we at? Oh, we're just about there. From what I remember. <laughs> Cause I'm a dingling. All right, so that is it. So 10 minutes, but I still got one done. And isn't that weird? Like uh, when I did five minutes, I got one done, but uh, this one's a little bit more with the, um, you know, the little tag spots. So anyways, I hope you guys like this um, 10 minute challenge a little bit more. Let me know what you think if you still think it's like too fast or whatever. Um, I, I just want to do like a few of these kind of things a week, like once or twice. Um, I'm cheating. Just to build up my ephemera a little bit and um, just show you some quick things that you can do instead of always feeling like you gotta you know do super elaborate you know what I'm saying so maybe if you do some of these quicker um, type things it might help I know it would help me too because I really do sometimes I feel like I get way too involved in it or whatever so but at least you got to see some of the craziness that we did on our trip it was just wonderful and i'm very happy to be back and to hang out with you guys and chat with you and hear what you have to say so anyways here's a closer view and we'll put this tag in here and like i said i may add something more to those uh, later but that's where we're at all right i will chat with you guys again tomorrow love you guys bye